guys. I know you probably can't tell, but I'm in Atlanta right now. I just so happened to have to drop my husband off at the airport and there was a doll show this weekend as well. So I was like, oh, that worked out. Uh, so I'm actually here to kind of visit with my friends, but also see what the doll show is all about. I've always wanted to go to one of these. So pretty excited. I've only ever been to toy shows. I've never actually been to like a doll club like show. So oh, I guess I went to one in Buffalo, but I guess it was pretty small. But anyway, I'm really excited to see what this is like. And if it ends up being a bust, at least you guys get to see what it looked like. And also I get to see my friends. So um, I'm here early. I'm just waiting for it to start. So see you inside. <laughs> so this is what the first room looked like. So the way that this doll show was laid out was that there was this little hallway room leading in and then there was a ballroom where the main things were and as you can see there was a ton of really cool stuff out here note that nikki doll she'll come up later the american girl doll anyway this was the first table that i stopped at so i immediately went into the big ballroom so that i could see if there was anything interesting in there and this was the table that i stopped at and i spent at least 30 minutes over here i was talking to the person that was running the table who was super super sweet and cool and also looking through and seeing if there was anything for me and this was while they were kind of still setting up honestly but it was time for the show to start um but so here we go. It's hard to even narrate because while I'm looking at the screen, and I'm sure it's overwhelming for you guys too, feel free to pause and stuff. There's just so many dolls and toys. I was really excited to find My Little Ponies. They're adjacent to dolls, but you don't always find them. This was my find. This was what I was like dreaming of when I came to the show. So I was so, so excited. And I wasn't going to come to this show actually um, just because of like timing and everything, but I drove my husband to the airport in Birmingham and that's only a two hour drive. Well, Birmingham to Atlanta was a two hour drive. So I was like, I'll do it. I will do it. And I'm so glad that I did. It ended up being so worth it. I was so, so exhausted though, but it was so worth it. Okay. I asked if I could have a bag or something to put my things in because I've already started gathering a small haul here. <laughs> and um, the seller or the like person running the table ended up bringing me a little bin to put everything in. And as you can see, here's a bunch of generation four of My Little Ponies. I sped up this part of it because I'm mostly just showing the exact same G4 ponies over and over again, but it's so satisfying to be able to dig through a bin of ponies already sorted by generation like this. It's so, like, and I found several that I needed, so I was very, very happy. And as you can see, there's just so many, but it was mostly ones that I already have, although I did find a few that I needed. I did dig through all of this again off camera, too. And this bin had a lot of cool stuff, like this Winx um, Concert Bloom doll. I really liked the Shoppies, but I was very picky with which ones I got. I ended up getting two out of here. I found a Precious Moments doll that I ended up picking up for my husband because he loves them. Uh, although this one had a plush body and he prefers the ones with the, like, kind of vinyl bodies, like, typical doll bodies, but that one was just so cute. I really liked her little teacher theme. There was a Nana Na teen, and yeah, that's a Shoppies that I picked out. I had to be very meticulous. I was balancing them all there. I was super excited about her. If I shake the doll, it's because I'm not narrating on camera, so I'm just silently being like, I won. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm doing when I do that. Um, but yeah, so the sorting with this booth, this was really interesting, actually. The seller told me that she had a connection at, like, a thrift store or something, and one day he, like, or the connection had given a bunch of dolls and things to sort through to this the seller and then ended up just never taking them back like they were like never mind so that's why they ended up with all of this stuff there was a lot of really cool stuff and of course a lot of it probably was like directly thrifted too but i just thought that was cool because i always wonder how uh, people end up with so much but that's why a lot of these aren't in amazing condition or aren't well sorted um and throughout the day actually at the doll show it seems like they were sorting these so um i wish that i'd notice that they were doing that because I would have had a lot of fun sorting all of this stuff um but there's also some g1 ponies there's some basic fun reproduction ponies for g1 Ooh, I didn't see that twilight fashion style she's really cute but I have enough fashion styles I'm fine uh but I was really digging through the ponies because I was very interested in having <laughs> more pon I just love ponies and I don't find them too often so it's always a treat to get to look through them and there were so many there's what was that one's name amber locks there's bowtie g3 who looks quite different that's i forgot that was name but i love that pony that was one of my favorites as a kid um a lot of really good g3s that was the one i ended up getting i don't i think i only got two g3s out of this we'll see um, but there were a ton mostly g3.5 which is kind of your typical thrift haul but i mean some pretty good i love that one i forgot that one's name though i forgot a lot of g3 names but i really like that one with the clouds and yeah again a lot of g3.5 because i don't know i feel like everything gets picked through and then the g3.5s remain generally i wonder why i didn't get that one i don't believe i have that one 
Um, but I don't know. Split decision. Ooh, I should have looked closer at that Rainbow Dream because my Rainbow Dream. Or I th oh, now that I think about it, I got three. Also, her name's not Rainbow Dream. What is it? No, I think it is. Rainbow Flash. That's her name. Rainbow Flash. Mine has a hair melt, which is common with her. With the, I think the pink hair or the orange hair. Um, and that was a pony that I don't have. You see how fast I grabbed her? I was like, ooh, <laughs> I don't have that one. <laughs> um, they're so cute. You can even see a G3 Pegasus back there. I love those. I just love the way they did the faded, uh, like, colors on their wings. I think it's so pretty. And, yeah, that whole year of my little... I mean, all of G3 is very nostalgic and special to me because it's my childhood ponies, so they'll always be spe they will always be special. But I still think my favorite is G2. Don't tell them. I don't know. It will have to see someday. And then over here are the doll bins. I didn't dig all the way through these, but I did dig more off camera. It was just really hard to film these areas, but I at least wanted to show like the experience of the doll show. And that was the point of these videos. So I wasn't going to like step on anyone's toes and make anyone uncomfortable by filming, but I was still trying to like, you know, show what it was like, what dolls I saw, what I did, how it was. And I definitely think this was a very friendly experience. If you're like anxious or nervous about going to one of these, everyone was so friendly, but not in like a, um, a scary way, I guess. Cause I was pretty nervous about this because I just didn't know what to expect. Like, I remember when I realized I was really close on my maps when I was driving up, I was genuinely, like, starting to get really, really scared. But it was just, everyone was so inviting and cool. And it's all people who share this really cool niche hobby with you. So it's pretty exciting. Also, if you notice, I didn't really film any of it, but this was also including reborn dolls so there was actually like a few tables of reborn stuff i'm not into those personally so i didn't really show them um maybe i like panned past them a couple times um yeah i'm really really looking in this bin because this is the type of oh those are the two dolls that i got and i pulled them both out at once that's so funny um this is the sort of bin that I dream of digging through when I go to a thrift store. Like, I want them to have a big bin of random dolls because that's where you find the good stuff if there's just a bunch of random stuff. And I did find some fun stuff. Nothing too special for me. There's a um, Magic of the Rainbow Alina, but she's missing too much stuff. But I really want to get her someday. I kind of want to make her wings myself, though, because her wings on the doll aren't see-through at all, and that bothers me because I feel like they should be. And then there's some kind of playset in box. What is that? I wasn't paying attention. Ooh, if that's that Barbie garden playset, and I... Oh my gosh, now I'm paranoid. If that was what I thought it was. I don't know. Anyway, um, there's a bunch of Disney fairies here. For the most part, Jack-specific ones that I already had, but we do dig through that later. I believe I do it off camera, though. And then some doll clothes of some sort. I don't know. More in here. The These were a bit more, like, curated and sorted through. It, this was really difficult, too, because the walkways weren't super huge. So um, to dig through these bins on the floor, I really had to squeeze by so I wasn't blocking anyone's way. I felt really bad about that. Um, but I was just really quickly trying to poke through, see what was going on. I had, I mean, I kind of wanted to stop at other tables, too, because when you're, you know, when you're the, I was one of the first people in, so I wanted to make sure I caught any of the, the best deals, which I think Cecile, like, Finding the American Girl Cecile doll was, yeah, <laughs> that was one of the better things I could have found. Strange little doll. There were some, like, picture frames and fixtures and things in there, too. And then up here, these belonged to a different person who I'll talk about a little later because I did buy some of this stuff. And I met her, and she was really cool. And these were from her eBay store. So she sells all these little, like, doll accessories separately on eBay. But it's always going to be a better deal to buy this stuff in person because unless you're buying a lot of them from an eBay store, it's going to end up being quite expensive because of the shipping. Because shipping, like, at minimum is, like, what, like, $4 now? It went up, so... Um, but this was really cool. It was really fun to be able to dig through all this stuff. I'm going to start carrying a list of all the Monster High accessories that I'm missing because uh, I definitely feel like I passed over some things that I probably actually needed for my collection. But there's only, like, I don't, I'm not too picky about, like, random earrings and necklaces and stuff. There's only certain pieces that I'm like, oh, I know I'm missing that because it's something that I... Like, the word missing, you know? Like, I am genuinely missing it in my life. Like, I wish I had it. So that's, like my philosophy on that sort of thing but I would still like to complete my monster high dolls if I could so I looked and tried to find things that I was missing those are Cleoli shoes I was actually tempted by them I think they're really cute <laughs> uh but I already have Cleoli and we had some uh what are those called inner monster uh parts and then you can see like certain dolls like all of their stuff like Lorna McNessie's stuff and all of this stuff was really well priced considering um like, imagine you find a doll at a thrift store and are only missing the shirt, and then you can get the shirt for $5, and then you completed the whole doll for, like, $7. 
that would be awesome. <laughs> um, so I tried to show it all. It was really nice that it was all sorted like this too. It's just a nice experience. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and you can see that I really dug through these a lot and it was really easy to film me digging through these as well. So I really showed it. Uh, I ended up getting that Ari Huntington piece. Yep. I wanted that. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of really cute stuff. Mostly dolls that I already had. If there were fashion pack pieces that I didn't already have, I would have grabbed them quick because, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of the fashion packs. I don't actually have that piece there, that electrified piece, I think it is. Or is that the Party Ghouls Venus? I don't remember. Um, I probably should have grabbed that because I really like it, but I didn't. I don't know. I just grabbed whichever ones were speaking to me in the moment. <laughs> uh, cool. Kind of funny to find the Bratz the Movie van or whatever you would call it, tour bus. I don't know. Um, because I had just gotten another bus that's that exact shape uh, and that was $15 which is a really good price but I didn't actually check if it had any of its stuff because I was like you know what I already have a bus like I'm not even gonna bother um, there were some dolls down here super cute ones it seems like these um, sellers were very much thrifting and picking out very specific dolls that they know collectors are looking for like the Cali Girl Barbies and yeah that's the way to do it and there were some really cute dolls like these are what are they integrity or something I don't know sorry if I'm if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, I'm not super knowledgeable. And then, okay, so this was a table that I spent a lot of time at as well. I don't know how much footage I got though, but this is an American Girl doll. I was so happy. And the other American Girl doll I didn't end up getting, but she was very cute too. And now we're looking through the doll bins. I feel like I had that doll. Was that a fashion fever? Was that a Drew actually? Probably should have gotten her. I wasn't thinking <laughs> that first one that I was showing. Um, but this bin was, there was a lot of people around. It was really difficult to dig through. Um, cause I think cause I was kneeling on the floor, people didn't really notice me. So I, <laughs> um, I kept getting like stepped on a little bit. So I was like, uh, I, I prematurely stopped digging through there. That's why I did that. And I like scooted over a little bit to look through all this stuff and picked out some things. See, there's people standing over me, which is okay, but it was making me really nervous. So that's why I kind of <laughs> dipped out a little bit, but Anyway, just scoping the scene. There was some Bratz dolls loose in here. My friends found some really good ones before I had gotten here. Uh, that was, yeah, <laughs> I was so excited. And you can see I'm just putting my stuff over there and that's how I lost um, my, my Bratz pony. I talk about it in the haul part of this video, but there were two Bratz ponies and I picked one out first that I really liked and I put her in my pile, but then she fell into another bin. I couldn't find her. Uh, but again, I'll talk about it in the haul part of this video, so I don't want to like double it up for you because I already filmed the haul part. I'm doing the narration last because you guys know I don't super like doing narrations. And then I couldn't help myself. So you see me putting back the Bratz furniture, but I'm lying. I was kind of uh, sad I didn't get that. I thought it was really cute. It's like a little ottoman, I think, for my life as dolls, but it would have made a good like little beanie chair or something for brat sized dolls. I don't know. These are <laughs> shoes that don't have matches, I think. There were quite a few tables that had shoes that don't have matches, which, I mean, they probably, you'd have to have a very specific person who knows exactly which shoes they only have one of for that to work out. But like, I, I like it. I like the spirit of it. I'm definitely going to keep a list of which, because I have a ton of singleton shoes. I just don't really keep that list in my brain other than Princess Chloe, but put a pin in that. I was, I was asking, oh my God, do you have more? Because that's a, I'll, I'll talk about those later. Uh, the doll that came in the little lunchbox thing, the Remco doll. I'll talk about those in a future video. <laughs> um, and then up here were the more expensive ones. The dolls that you were seeing on the bottom were kind of like a dollar each, but um, I think I'm handing the dolls to her because she had a bag going for me or something. But um, I'm going through these ones. These are the ones that are a little bit more expensive, but really n almost nothing on this table was over like $15. Everything was really well-priced. It was really cool. I think I'm talking to someone else too, and maybe the seller as well up here. And there are several dolls that have some kind of customization done to them. I had her already. That's why I didn't get her, but she was a tempting one. But again, I already have her. And you can see a Finn doll. Um, that doll was, I was like, why is her? face so distinct i was like this isn't a barbie like what is this doll she was repainted but like the repaint was so i didn't catch it until i looked closer so that was cool and then there's a bunch of accessories tons of loose shoes and things that were all in little bags to keep them together i i just loved it and there was a bin of heads in case you wanted some heads and yes i bought some heads yes i bought some heads i don't even think i've been in there an hour and i've already spent 150 dollars but You'll see. I think it was worth it. Um, I couldn't even show all the stuff because um, it's so hectic in there. I feel bad filming all the time. But, so this is car load number one. I'm gonna go hide these in my car. <laughs> and then uh, we'll go back. I'm excited. 
for round two. I don't have a bunch of bags, so I'm more nimble. I can get around more. This table, I wanted stuff from so bad. This table and this one had Barbie Basics dolls. The one that I showed you before and now the one that I'm at now. I'm under the table right now, but uh, they had Barbie Basics dolls that I don't already have. And I was so tempted. And they were offering bundle discounts. And the prices were actually really fair, honestly. But uh, it wasn't the amount of money that I wanted to spend. Like, at a show like this, three Barbie dolls for $150 wasn't ideal. Or maybe it was $120, I don't remember. But it was higher than I wanted to spend. But, like, I really wanted this one. And look how cute they all are in this series. But I thought this one had such an interesting face. I don't know. I thought she was very unique and pretty. And... Uh, this one too, they just, they look so different. They look, they looked really beautiful, but all Barbie Basics dolls are like that. And I have a few Barbie Basics, but I'd like to have more. And there was another table, I don't think I showed it on camera, that had the Target exclusive ones, and they had three of them. Not the one that looks like me, though. If it was the one that looked like me, I would have bought her in a heartbeat, because <laughs> I really want that one. Um, and I don't have her with all her stuff and everything. And then, um, this table had a lot of amazing dolls, and it was weird, because some of the prices were really fair like way under ebay and some of them were above ebay prices so i'm not really sure where the pricing came from like especially with the silk stone some of them would be like a hundred dollars under value and then other ones of like random dolls that were on the table like uh, i think that dallas cowboys barbie was like 20 to 30 dollars more than she sells for on ebay and i'm sorry i'm not going to like a show like this to pay ebay prices i know some people probably feel differently so like this lounge kitties for example lounge kitties pretty frequently you can get them for like 40 dollars each and that one was 50 and I'm not saying pretty frequently as in I'm cheap and I've seen it sell for that before. I'm saying like as of right now, as we speak, you can probably get it for like 30 bucks. So uh, I was confused by a lot of the prices, but I really wanted the lounge kitty. I was tempted just because I wanted her in the moment, but that's the trap. You have to be careful you, <laughs> so you can get good deals. I was so tempted by that Felicity. She was 150 with her Christmas dress. She was beautiful. She wasn't the original release of Felicity, but she was like the second or third and like different facial variant. And she, her face was just so pretty. And then this table had really good deals and everything there was 50% off, even though it was early in the day. Like generally once the show's almost over, sellers will discount stuff, which I didn't really notice that, but I guess if I had asked, they probably would have. But I was really surprised by just how cheap everything was. Like, I don't know, maybe this was stock from another show and they're just like, get rid of it. But there were a lot of really cute dolls, but I ended up picking out just a few things because just because something's a good price I'm not gonna like force myself to be like oh I guess I want this no I'm gonna pick out things that I actually really like so that uh, cat Barbie was the one because you guys know I can't resist a cat themed thing <laughs> it's uh one of my flaws I wanted the Barbie that that outfit goes to if that outfit doesn't go to that doll I just feel like it goes to a Barbie um yeah we three friends i really like them is that well i can't remember if forever best friends or we three friends was the mattel one because one was M mattel and one was mga <laughs> and they're really similar but the dolls are quite different but the names i just don't remember which one's which uh i think we three friends is the mattel one anyway then i'm gonna go through the clothes i immediately picked out that one and i'll talk about it later and there were a lot of good pieces in here but i have a lot of barbie clothes and unless it was something that i either was already looking for or had like when i saw it i felt inspired i didn't grab them because um, I'll leave them for another collector. You know, I have plenty of Barbie clothes. It's just that, um, that one that I picked out had a shirt that I super wanted. And, ooh, she had cool rings on. <laughs> I just noticed that. And then, uh, those are the shoesies I picked out. I, I bought those, but I ended up gifting them to my friend who was looking for them. So, uh, I don't get to show them in the haul, but I did buy them. <laughs> I think I bought two sets of shoesies. Or, I think I didn't buy those flip-flops because they were, oh my god, so ugly. I bought a different pair of shoesies when I found them. I was just buying the shoesies because, like... Um, people are always asking me, like, oh, does this doll fit shoesies? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't have any. <laughs> uh, so I was hoping to get some, but I, my friend was specifically actually looking for it, so I was like, okay, you'd be better off. I thought that might have gone to Whale of a Tail Ariel, uh, but it doesn't. It was a Mattel thing, so probably like a SeaWorld Barbie or something, but that was kind of funny. And then this case had a bunch of vintage, including a Remco doll, and I, I was, like, hot on the trail of something that is, like, a holy grail for me that I've been looking for, and I kept getting little adjacent dolls to her, and I was really annoyed. <laughs> um, not annoyed, but it was like a, ooh, where are you? And I asked every seller that had these, and they just looked at me crazy when I asked for the thing, so I think it's a little too obscure, but it's okay. <laughs> I was I asked like do you have more of this uh do you have more like do you have this one and they'd be like no that Lika playline doll was way overpriced it was really funny but she was marked like Japanese Lika playline uh so I think Lika must be a hot commodity among doll um shows like this and I assume it's because like they don't a lot of people don't like ordering from overseas so it would be unusual to find something like that and buying it in person on the spot would be very satisfying but the prices were way too high to justify that like 
I, I'm happy to pay, well, personally, like, I can get those from Japan very, very cheap, and I can get the shipping pretty cheap, too, so I don't care, but uh, I'm willing to pay a premium if it's right there in front of me, but not that much of a premium. Anyway, this table rocked. I bought one doll from this table. My friend bought a ton more, but... Uh, like, all of the Clueless fashion packs. I don't know if you can see them here. I think they got set out later, but they were, like, every single Clueless fashion pack. Yeah, they're not here, because they were on, they were over here later. Like, just later in the day, we walked by, and they were there. Uh, but this table had a ton of new in-box dolls in pretty good condition, and they were all, like, 10 to $30, depending. Some of them were, like, super, like, more collectible ones, I guess, that people like. Like, different characters that are unusual, so they were more expensive, but mostly... 10 to 20 dollars so the one that i got was 20 dollars and i love her and you can just see how many there are and i was really surprised how many of these holiday ones there were and yeah so this is what i'm talking about with these 90s barbies being over collected by the way uh that's why they are so common at flea markets because i assume this was just this person's extras from their collection like they're just, just really really common you can find them at flea markets so easily every flea market you go to will have a bunch of certain ones so like I was tempted by that one, and she's cat-themed, but I was like, you know, I just bought it all similar to you, and I, this one was so cute. I honestly kind of regret not getting that one, but she did sell, and, and I saw the person that had, I'm pretty sure, I, at least I saw a person holding her and was really, really happy, so I assume she got bought. <laughs> um, but, uh, and then over here, these were some, this was weird, because they were all just in this bin, kind of, like, thrown about, but some of these dolls were priced at, like, $200, um, and I'm really interested in collecting more vintage, so I was really excited about this show in particular because I thought I could get a hold of more vintage, but like, uh, I don't know about 20, <laughs> like $200, but this doll was so beautiful. I was, I was seriously looking around like, why are you so expensive? And I still don't know. My friend tried to explain it to me. I won the raffle. I can't believe it. Yep. Um, <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh. That is so exciting. I had no idea. <laughs> So now what's going on here? This is what's, oh my, I think I'm going with the country living home and I'll let you guys know why I think this is so funny. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's so cool. I had, they were calling out the raffle earlier and I just looked at my ticket and I was like, oh crap, it's mine. Um, but this is tempting too, but I'm getting it. After the raffle, we're back to the doll show. So we are taking a look at this. What even was this table? I think this was the one like that was directly on the entrance of the ballroom or something. Yeah. I went through these precious moments and I was so tempted because there was this little clown one. I'm asking to make sure these are for sale because it was ambiguous, um, but they were. Um, and there was this clown one that was so cute. Also, the plushies were absolutely darling. Look at the little owl and the little seal. Um, but this clown that I was hoping to get for Brett had um, like mildew on the sleeve. So that turned me away because I was like, I don't know about the plushies and stuff that potentially could have like mold or mildew. Like I'm okay treating mold and mildew and stuff, but with certain things I'm like, mm, I don't know. And I think these ones also took cash only, so that would have been a hassle. So I was like, mm, never mind. They did have some things that I was interested in later, but um, the show was over by then and they were like packing up. So I was like, oh, never mind. But I hadn't noticed it this first time through. They also had some live dolls that I think I probably showed a few minutes ago. Oh, that one's so cute. That one was so cute. And I love this little whale. Yeah, I was going to get the whale. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was a cash thing. I don't remember why I didn't get the whale. I think it's because I didn't get the clown because of the mildew. Yeah, I put the whale back because I was like, the mildew, I'm not doing it. I didn't notice the mildew to, be, to begin with. And then we have an Alexis doll I was kind of tempted by. And yeah, the precious moments, cute. But Brett doesn't like the plush ones. And then this table had so many beautiful dolls. And this table it just had like doll clothes. And I didn't end up looking through those on camera. I apologize. And yeah, there's some beautiful, beautiful dolls. I really like that diva Barbie. I kept coming back to her. She was so beautiful. And then this table, I would not leave alone. So I discovered these Jason Wu dolls for the first time and died a little bit. Like they're amazing. I loved them. And then there were a bunch of silk stones, which I don't normally look too closely at, but that one, it's so funny. There was a price tag that said $45, but she wasn't, she was like 75. Um, but I just kept coming back to her and put a pin in that. <laughs> and put a pin in that that beautiful beautiful silkstone doll um and then you can see a bunch of other higher end dolls and then this table had a lot of cute stuff i was very interested in what was in this little cart but oh i didn't end up filming it but none of it ended up being for me anyway what is this table i do not remember this table 
Oh, I do. I remember this Addie. She was beautiful. And that little rabbit doll was really unusual too. Yeah, I didn't really stop at this table for very long. Although I did talk to two other collectors uh, next to this table, like immediately after this clip for a long time. Yeah, I saw their American Girl dolls and started talking to them. And then immediately after that, I found number 80. This is a doll I've been looking for for a long time. And I was asking the seller, like, was this here? And the seller's like, I just put her out. <laughs> I was like, oh no, <laughs> I need her. And Kirsten was there too. And Kirsten's so cute i do have a kirsten doll she's in terrible condition and has none of her stuff and she has silver eye but uh i don't know i she's not too hard to find where i'm worried about it i'll find her on facebook marketplace someday and then i was tempted by the kitty uh but i'm pretty sure i already have that cat and uh this had a really interesting pile of dolls like this japanese barbie it seems like the japanese barbies are very very hot commodity here and they're 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 pretty rare even from japanese sources but not $200 rare, you know? <laughs> um, I think that's what the price was at. I don't remember. And then these were really interesting because I think they matchbox. Like, that's not a Japanese release, but they're Robotech dolls. Uh, so that was kind of interesting. I've never seen those before. Got um, Ken, this Jenny, $75 just for like a regular. Was that a calendar girl too? I don't know. That doll was very cute. This, another Japanese Barbie. Yeah, like $200. I think that said $175. She's cool. She's very cute. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll try my luck from Japanese sources. Although, like, it must be pretty hard to get a hold of these. But, anyway. I haven't really tried too hard with Japanese Barbie just because I haven't seen any that have appealed to me too much. But I also haven't looked very hard, so I'm sure there will be one that I will get fixated upon. And then they had the Project one project Runway Barbara but or Kennedy, but she was $95. So, this seemed like kind of a lot. And then, I'm mainly trying to show the Jennies, but the Barbies are beautiful too, but, you know... <laughs> I'm always looking at the Japanese dolls. I love them. And that doll was really cute. So I stopped on her. And that Jenny's so funny, actually, because I'm pretty sure either that one or one of the ones from the series was in my Zen Market card at the time of me recording this part. Because I was just looking at her like, wow, she's so familiar. I think the one with the yellow outfit was the one in my cart. But I really wanted that one in the middle. Um, and $45 is actually a pretty good price. Like, that's what I was going to pay from Zen Market. But... For some reason, I decided against it. I don't know. In person, I was looking at her, and I was like, she's cute. And she has an action pose body, which was cool, but I don't know. She didn't really do it too much for me. And then this, oh my god, this, I think she's Poppy Parker, this alien doll. I wanted her so bad. Apparently, she's still in stock on the Integrity website. I don't know. I might be wrong. Um, but I'm tempted by her, but I just don't think she'd have a place in my collection yet. And then we had a bunch of... That was so funny. That's a, one of the drawers from one of the uh carry cases i thought that was kind of funny and then have some that was a gene marshall i think there's that felicity again me looking at felicity and felicity's little tea lesson set there i wanted that so bad i wanted it so bad but i don't have anywhere to display it and i love that dress i'm on load number four <laughs> to the car uh well i think this might be load number three actually i don't remember all right y'all here's my shame look upon it uh we have three american girl dolls um, and like quite a bit of other stuff. Truly the big thing in this haul are the American Girl dolls though, but I got this um, really pretty Barbie that I just fell in love with and this one, and then that was my door prize. So anyway, let's go back in there. I've been bullied all day by my friend, by so-called friends, and I was told I have to buy this. Oh, I'm kidding. I, I was like thinking about her all day. I've been walking by, but like, isn't she gorgeous? So this is Red Moon. Uh, the silk stone, and this would be my second silk stone ever. Uh, and she's just so beautiful. I've just been drawn to her all day. And look, I'm leaving behind her twin um, because she doesn't have her outfit, and I just don't think I'd ever find it. But aren't they cool? Um, so they're really heavy, and I have one silk stone that was gifted to me. But I think I think this would be a good one, and it's a really good price, and I really like her. So yay! And here I am returning once again to those Jason Wu dolls. I was just dying over these flight flight attendants pilot themed i don't know some kind of flying theme just look at her she's so cute i i was in love with them they were pretty good prices i think like i looked them up later and was like oh they were actually really fairly priced which everything at that table was really fairly priced but like i don't know i love them but i just couldn't that day uh there's a kira doll i think bunch of just different dolls this is back at that table that i found those brats ponies at earlier and i was just interested in looking back through and i did find more things i think it was just more brat doll yeah there's a brat doll I ended up getting her even though potentially i already have her we'll see i'll talk about it later um did i put her back in the bin i thought i picked her out Ooh. 
some more missing paint ones because this person customizes dolls and um, so there were some that were already worked on. I feel like if you, that one might've been customized too. That one's really cute. If you're a doll customizer, I feel like coming to one of these shows would be awesome because there were so many sellers that had buckets of random dolls like this and they were super cheap. The brats were $5 and everything else was a dollar in the spin or $2, I don't remember. And I mean, imagine if you're just trying to like practice or if you wanted a very specific like face sculpt or something, the odds are pretty high unless it was an unusual face sculpt that you would probably find it and be able to practice on it. So, or use it for your customs. So um, this would be a really, really good resource. And they, a lot of places will hold these sorts of shows twice a year. It can be pretty tricky to find these shows because sometimes they're not listed online, but I'll talk about it later. There is a website that lists different doll shows. I don't know how reliable it is, how reliable it is or if it has like every doll show ever on it, but at least that's a place to start, I guess. And finding other collectors local to you is helpful too. But it seems like the younger generations like mine don't really know about these doll clubs as much because the clubs are mainly... Um, they're pretty established, so I've always been way too scared to go to any doll clubs, unfortunately. Maybe someday. So I'm just, I don't know, too much anxiety. Because I feel like that's like a well-established group of people and you just walk in and it's like, ah! But, uh, I, you should try. Like, I feel like it would be really cool. I don't know. Because it's just a bunch of doll collectors. And this doll was very, very cute, but I ended up getting her. But I, I did end up going back to her like four times just to be like, uh. But it was weird, um... She didn't get bought the whole show. A $40 American Girl doll in pretty good condition. Like, that was surprising. And this is me finally deciding to get the Bratz furniture because I had left some behind earlier in the day. And there was a bunch of cool stuff. Was that Betty Spaghetti stuff or something? I think that's what that said. And just a lot of interesting little pieces. I got this cat. I just felt compelled to because I love a tuxedo cat. Aren't they darling? Yeah, I was trying to figure out what it was, if it went to a doll or what, but it just goes to its own thing, I think. I don't know. I grabbed him. And the um, LOL Surprise Arcade Boys, Arcade Heroes or whatever they're called, had really, really cute little cases. Those are so fun. I don't really see them thrifting, so I wonder if people keep them or where they go. I always wonder about those hard cases, because you'd think you'd find like a hundred of those hair adorables cases everywhere, because there's no way people are keeping all those, right? But... I don't know. I, I used to see them somewhat frequently thrifting, but not like ever like five at a time. Why didn't I get her shoes? I need Julie's shoes. I mean, I have them, but mine are broken. I thought I got those. It was so overwhelming sometimes that I misplaced things. Like I would put things back that I didn't mean to. And that's probably what happened there. Or I think those might've been slightly broken. I don't even remember, but I need more like random sandals for American Girl dolls. And then what am I doing over here? Like what is, this? oh, this is in the front again. I'm looking at this Bratz doll. She was actually a really good price if I recall correctly. I can't quite read it on my tiny phone screen right now, but she's cute, but I do already have her. She was a gift from one of my friends and I don't need her inbox unless she was a super, super low price because I'm just not a new inbox collector. And then, oh, this was so funny. I was sitting here gushing over how cute this was and I just assumed someone put this out as a display. And when takedown was happening, the person who put this out was like exasperated and was like, oh, I didn't think I was gonna have to get this home because they actually were trying to sell it, but there was no price tag on it and uh, nobody realized it was for sale. So that was very funny, but, or not funny, it was sad, but it, kind of funny because she was just like laughing a little bit because she was like, oh my God, I should have put a price tag on this. <laughs> um, but that was a really, really cool set. Like it was really well made. It was really cool. It was made out of like particle board, I think, just like this Rainbow High House. And there's just a bunch of dolls hanging out in here. Rainbow High House being the shelf at this doll show, I think two different booths had this, was really funny to me. <laughs> it works. It's perfect. And this table kept putting interesting things out. I didn't end up buying from them. Um, I got whiplash at some point. I don't know if I filmed it, but there were these Hasbro baby dolls that look, they have the exact same body other than the little um, belly button. Sorry, we're not talking about anything that's on screen right now. These dolls are beautiful. Uh, their belly buttons are like little seashells and they're called Magic Mer Babies. And these random Hasbro dolls that they had on the table have the exact same body and I was so shocked. And yeah, so we're over here now. Yeah, this Diva doll I kept coming back to. And the other table had all three of the um, non-variant, I believe, Divas. And they were so beautiful. Are they all called Diva? I thought they were, I don't remember. Um, but they're all so pretty. And then there's all of these gorgeous, like really more high-end collector dolls over here for Barbie, which is really cool to see them in person, actually. And then 
Why didn't I even bother to look at the American Girl size furniture there? And then we have a bunch of Tammy dolls, and I talked to him. And if you guys are looking for these, by the way, he has a list of all of the ones that are for sale on Google Drive. And I will link it in the description if any of you guys are interested in them. And um, let me know if you need his information, because he um, is selling, like, a big collection of his late wife. And he was so, so sweet. He told me the whole history of Tammy, and I promise I'll stop calling her Cindy. Because the American ones are Tammy. <laughs> and what was her sister's name? It was like Pepper or something? No, it was like... Ugh. Patch? Patch. Okay, that doll was precious. That pink-haired one was so pretty. Is it Poppy Parker? Yeah. Isn't she darling? I really like that lip color and that hair color. And yeah. Cool, cool. Over here, I'm back looking at that doll again. I was just... what? Why was she so expensive? I really like her outfit and I really like her face, but... I mean, she's a vintage doll, like... The price makes sense but uh, my friend knew exactly which one that was and was explaining to me like why she was worth that i think that's actually this moment was when i was walking around with my friends so um but yeah some very very cutie well not that one <laughs> uh this one was very cute facially but um i don't remember why i didn't get any of these well i feel like either the prices were too high or they were just in terrible condition it was like that it was either or Original Skipper is not my favorite. I'm sorry. She doesn't do anything for me. And then I really liked the way that they packaged the fashion packs and clothing and things. I thought it was really adorable that they're like in the plastic on the cardboard. And they even had them in a binder at one point. I don't know if I show it, but there was a binder with like pages of doll clothes like this. Oh, no, no, no. It was binder rings with little Ziploc bags or something. That flower wower dress again. I love it. I need to know what doll it goes to. Or is it fashion pack? I don't know. Yeah, see, look on a binder ring isn't that clever and then the binder had like little like, jewelry accessories which i think they were making they also had a lot of like aliexpress doll shoes and stuff which is really smart to have at a doll show because generally ordering those in bulk gets you them a lot cheaper and if you don't need the bulk selling them for super super cheap to other people at the doll show that absolutely would need them is very helpful and then i'm looking at that alien doll again thinking about her and just showing the other girls they were all really really cool beautiful dolls but uh my heart belongs to the alien doll and then look there's a secret wedding barbie back here i did not show her well at all hopefully i did later and yeah just giving you the lay of the land here and then where are we <laughs> i don't know but i think i saw some like were those topper dawn dolls those mini dolls there i don't know hmm. oh we're back at the live table with the precious moments and just looking around there's some reborns on the left and then this is that table that had a lot of dolls that were either unbelievably overpriced or really cute. So yeah, this is when I start noticing those Diva collection dolls. Well, I start showing them on camera a little bit. Actually, I didn't, but I'm just trying to show them. I think my friend is looking at all these uh, and trying to decide. Is that the Louis Vuitton one? Oh, no, that was the Ferrari one. My friend ended up buying that one. And that one has, like, the stand is made out of real Ferrari leather or something. It was really funny. A uh, really interesting idea. I really liked that 2010 Zara Barbie that was kind of hiding in the back behind the basics. The Sports Illustrated Barbie is awesome too. I really like that. I think there was like a Philippines exclusive special doll up top. She was really cool. And guess what? You've reached the end of the doll show doll hunt. Congratulations. All right, so now that you've seen the toy hunt footage, now it's time for the haul. So for context, the show was a week ago. It was called the Atlanta Doll Collector Show. I think they hold this twice a year. I'll be going to all of the ones that I can in the future. It was so much fun. The time flew by. I think the show was like 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. or something and just completely flew by. Every minute I was having fun. I was talking to someone. I was looking at dolls. It was amazing and the prices were so good. I couldn't believe it. And I just kind of stumbled upon it. Honestly, my friends um, who live relatively in that general region uh were really like wanting me to show up to like doll shows in the area but it's a big time commitment it's like a three hour drive plus you have to pass through a time zone so i have to leave even earlier uh and that's a big time commitment for a doll show that i wasn't sure if it was going to be amazing it turned out to be unbelievably amazing but even if it wasn't i was going to get to hang out with my friends so it was going to be worth it uh but this was so cool i met so many of you guys which i was not expecting at all um, and it was just so much fun and I am so excited. So if you guys are looking for shows like this and you live in the U.S., 
I will link a website in the description. I'm not affiliated with this website at all, but I've used it before to look for doll shows. I can never find them in my area or like I forget when they're happening. So um, I'm glad I have friends that go to these Atlanta shows that are always going to be like, hey, come to this one. <laughs> um, but there's like a federation of doll clubs and most doll clubs do hold some kind of show. I'm not sure how big and amazing they'll be, but I will link it in the description in case you um, are interested in trying to go to one of these. They'll be varying amounts of good and I think it's very dependent on what what type of doll you actually collect. Um, I did notice like if you were collecting Monster High at this show there was not very much for you for example and that's all you collect that would not have been a very good show for you. Um, but it just depends like it's totally random what actually is going to turn up at the doll show. It's kind of like thrifting. Um, luckily I collect a lot of different things and I found a lot of cool stuff and I spent a lot less than you probably would think I did based on the haul. So anyway Let's get into the haul. This was a lot of introduction, but I want to make sure to make clear like what this was and how it works and everything. Okay, so you can see some of it spilling over. So I guess we'll start with this bag, whatever may be inside. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is actually funny. So I actually bought these from my friends and these are piles of plastic and shelf princess. I will link them in the description. And um, I don't actually remember which one of them this came from because they had a joint table together. And um, it's a bunch of Gwen Stefani dolls. And I'm not super knowledgeable about the Gwen Stefani dolls, but I think that they're very cute. This is what I should show. So there's like the artwork for them. Oh, there's a lot of them. So they're based on Love Angel Music Baby, of course. And these are the first Gwen Stefani dolls they did. It seems Gwen Stefani just really loves dolls or wants to have dolls of her or something because they're constantly making dolls for her. They crank them out because they were Cuckoo Harjuku too. That was her, right? I might be mistaken because there's several lines that came out around the same time with similar names. Uh, but anyway, these are the very like brats looking ones. And um, I'm not familiar enough with Gwen Stefani stuff to know exactly which character is which. Uh, maybe this will tell me. Oh, this is Gwen. This is just straight up Gwen. And... Ooh, so unfortunately they don't have super good hair fibers, but they're in really, really good condition because my friend, my friends just rock. They take, they restore dolls so well, they take such good care of them and they always give me really good prices and I really appreciate that. And it's not just me, by the way, their table was price tags just sitting on there. Anybody could buy them for the prices that I bought them at. I paid $30 for every single one or like this entire bag was $30, I should say. Um, I suspect this is baby. I really like this one my favorite out of the two I've seen and I'm again I don't know these dolls super well oh my god the marching band outfit how cute so um is this Gwen Stefani again because she's got the brown eyes and blonde hair I don't know um let's see <laughs> bananas oh duh it's from the music video okay sorry <laughs> again I'm not the most familiar with Miss Gwen Stefani <laughs> I do like that song though. Okay, and then we've got, there's a crown that goes to somebody. I don't know if it goes to this girl, but this is Gwen again. I guess some of them are music video looks specifically. Ooh, I like this one. This one has almost no makeup on. She's very different looking. It's a super, super cute one. And I hadn't actually looked through these. They just said like, oh, the bag of Gwen's funny dolls is $30. And I was like, I'll buy that. And then this is actually like, I don't know if that actually goes to her, but this is jam packed with extra accessories. So like even accessories that are still on the cards and oh, cute. The sweet escape. And it's like your ticket to the show. And I guess this is for you. This is a little headband, super, super cute. A button, I think, oh no, it's a mirror. Oh my God. And it's a little clock. Cause this one probably came with this. So these are super, super cool. I was really excited about these. I love um, to discover and like have different sorts of dolls in my collection. So it's very cool to have some Gwen Stefani dolls. I'm not the biggest celebrity doll fan and I've said that quite a bit, but these are not necessarily just dolls of Gwen Stefani. Like they're very stylized. They're not just meant to be like hyper realistic. Cause when I say I don't super like celebrity dolls, it's cause I'm not super into like any celebrity in general where I would want a bunch of celebrity dolls, but also they're usually like so uncanny looking in the face that they're just not for me. And these are, these are a little strange facially, um, especially the Gwen ones, because they were definitely trying to get her features, but on the stylized face. Um, and sometimes it's not the best effect, but like this one is absolutely adorable. Seems like she actually has, yeah, she has a different face sculpt. Um, but I really like the way they did Gwen's nose on these dolls. I think they're very cute. And to have like a Bratz-ish doll with a, with a pretty significant nose like that is really, really cool. I think they're very cute. Um, so yeah, and they're kind of impressive quality, except for the hair, so... It's always fun. Anyway, we spent a while on the Gwen Stefani dolls, but I just thought those were so cool and they're something that I don't have in my collection yet at all, actually. I think I've seen them like once at a thrift store, but never with any of their stuff. Okay, next. 
we have this. Also, a, a little bit of a segue, I have launched channel memberships on my channel. I've learned now that if you go on mobile TV or desktop, you can see them. There's special emojis for you guys. You're gonna have special perks in like different places. You have a little badge next to your name. If you're interested, check it out. There's gonna be like a join button somewhere. And on mobile, it's like a membership tab, I think. Um, but there will be more information there and I'm kind of soft launching it right now, so I haven't like fully announced it. So anyway. Next, we have this Barbie and the Christmas Carol playset. And this is in this, like, it's not a playset, it's a gift set. But it's in this weird pillow bag for some reason. But anyway, this set is really, really cool. And I actually saw it for sale twice at the same show. I don't know if I ended up managing to show both. But these are still attached to the back card. But as you can see, the, this is getting unboxed. There's no reason to keep this in box, but I love the cat. And I'm not sure if I've seen this movie in the past 10 years, so I don't know a whole lot about this specific Barbie movie, but I thought this playset was super, super cute. Y'all know I love collecting the Barbie movie dolls. These Kellys are absolutely precious and I love Kellys. And um, also the cat, I had to have that cat. And this was, I think $40 and the seller was gonna give me this and another thing that I'll show you in a second for $40. And they only took cash and I only had like $32 in cash. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like I'll come back. And she was like, no, you're good. So that was cool. So thank you to that seller because this is a really cool set and I'm happy to have it. Do I think it's worth like a ridiculous amount of money and I got to steal? Probably not, but I was excited to have it. Um, and then this was the other thing that I got. This was the thing that drew me to the table. It's this early 2000s Miss Barbara artwork that looks so my scene, but I don't think it's, it's not supposed to be my scene, but it says 2005, but like, isn't this so cute? I love this art style that they did for Barbie at this time. This was my childhood. 2005, I was six years old, so this is my Barbie days, you know? And yeah, this is so, so cute. Reminds me of, like, the Barbie website and, like, different little dress-up games and stuff. I don't know if they ever had a dress-up game with this particular look, but um, I just remember seeing this sort of artwork everywhere. And it's this little bandana, which is so cute. And I love that the Barbie is also wearing a bandana. I love this. I'm so excited about this. This is going to display with my Fashion Fever dolls, probably, just because they're around the same time period and I really like them. Uh, so yeah, just a really cute thing that I had never seen before. And I saw it like this, I think. It was folded on the table and I just saw her little, like, that minimal face and I was like, that's Barbie. And I picked it up and I was like, oh my god. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So stinking cute. Okay, now I'll get back to this bag because there was a very cute Barbie. Uh, there was this table that had really well-priced 90s Barbies, mostly 90s, some early 2000s, but none of them were really clicking with me. They're really, really common, so unless I absolutely love them, I don't go for them because I know I'll find them at a thrift store eventually for, like, out of box for cheaper. And for me to unbox, like, a brand new unbox doll, it has to be a bad condition box or I just get a really good deal on it. And they were all really well priced. They were all, like, $20-ish or under, unless they were rare. Um, unless they were, like, rare. Uh, but this was the Exhilaration Barbie, and I'd never seen this one before, so... Wasn't this like the Target clothing brand? I had a ton of exhilaration clothes, I remember, but I don't know what the deal with it was because I was like five. But okay, this packaging is adorable. And I thought the doll was just so sweet. And her outfit is so weird for Barbie. Even at the time, the, the colors are so like drab in a positive way. I just, I love it. I love it. I thought this was so precious. I love her bag. I like her hair color. She has like this, um strawberry blonde color she also has i just noticed this the little butterfly barrette that it comes with for me she has it too i have never seen this barbie barbie before and i love her and her string is really um moldy so um but look how cute this is so yeah it doesn't say it's target exclusive but i swear was this walmart or target's clothes brand i would suspect target because the packaging is so red but anyway really cute and the packaging presentation is what drew me to her in the first place on that table and it says she's from I guess 1999, maybe? Yeah, 1999. So, the year I was born. I love her. She's so, so cute. And those are my only, like, new unbox Barbies that I picked up. Except one, you'll see. I mean, if you, you watched the haul, you know what it was. Um, also, I got this Zodiac Little Stars doll for $4. It's a little price tag. Uh, oh, this doll, I think I paid 20 for, which... If I had bought more dolls, they probably would have cut me a deal, but I just wanted this one. I really liked her. This 
is a Zodiac Little Stars doll. And this is so funny because I discovered these through somebody posting about them on Instagram or something literally like a week or two ago. And I was so enchanted by them. I just thought they were so cute, but I couldn't find them for sale online because it's literally like a random generic bootleg type of brand, whatever good old values is. I doubt they're a doll company, you know, but I thought their faces were so cute because these have got to be like Bratz era. Doesn't have a date on it, but like isn't this darling? And this one's Scorpio. I don't think I'll ever have the full Zodiac set. I'm not sure if I'm gonna unbox this one because I think the packaging is so cute, but I just, I fell in love with her. So I got her and she's darling. And Scorpio is a good one. My husband is a Scorpio. So it's a good one to have. Unlike like a random gem or um yeah, a random Zodiac that I don't have any connection to. Um, I got one that I actually have a connection to. And she's so cute. She's so cute. So yeah, I was really happy. Like look at her silly little face. So cute and for four dollars. And again, that was just random serendipity because or serendipity means random, but like that was just true, just random luck because I had just discovered those and wanted them. So yay! Score! Now I have one. <laughs> okay. We got through a bag. We did it. We did it. <laughs> okay. Next, we have this bag. So some of this stuff is stuff that I bought from my friends and we just kind of did like a bulk deal for a lot of them. So I'm not sure what exact prices that I paid, but I think I paid like $50 total for the stuff for my friends or no, it was more than that. Maybe like 70 something. I don't remember. Um, okay. This is, if you've been following me for a couple years, you might remember when I just became absolutely in love with the twisty style dolls from the 2000s brats. Do I have one here? Um, or sorry, the 2010s brats. I don't know why I said 2000s. Twisty style. It's like the cutest artwork. The line is just gorgeous. The prototypes were obviously much more beautiful than this, but like these dolls are so pretty. And I fell in love with them. And I went on a little tirade, but I managed to get them all and I was so happy. But anyway, um, there's a styling head apparently. I didn't know this, or if I did, I forgot. Uh, so now I have Yasmin as a styling head. I don't know if she was sold as Twisty Style Yasmin, but this is Twisty Style Yasmin. Like it's the same hair color, the same, like that's her, the eyes. But yeah, so this is actually my first brat styling head. She has um, polypropylene, I'm pretty sure, which is terrible if it's gonna be a styling head, but I know how to fix this. And she's not very, she's actually in really good condition um, considering, and yeah, I think she's still in her original hairstyle too. I, maybe I paid $10. Maybe I paid a little less for a bulk discount, I don't remember. Um, but I just thought she looked so cute. And yeah, now I have Brat Styling Head. People always bug me about how I leave styling heads at the thrift store. And it's like, I will only pick up a styling head if she's like pristine. Because styling heads just never did a whole lot for me. I think they're very cute, but one of my favorite things about dolls in particular um, is that I can pose them. <laughs> so styling heads don't have that. And I like styling hair, but I'm not very good at it. So um, I definitely prefer a doll. So that's why I usually leave behind styling heads. But this is my exception. I really wanted this one. So as soon as I saw her, I was like, that's twisty style. Yes. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, these are a bag of things I bought from another doll collector who is actually friends with one of my really good friends, Pancake Boss. So that was really funny. Um, totally random. And I bought a ton of stuff from this person's table. I kept going back. And um, it seemed like they were kind of private because their Twitter was very, like, not doll related. So I'm not going to shout them out because I don't know if they would want me to. Um, but if you would, just comment and I'll pin it or something. Uh, but anyway, I bought a bunch of stuff from this table. I found so much fun stuff. So one of the things that I found was this custom dyed hair Carmen doll with a lip repaint and also the edges and perhaps some of the makeup. Um, and this doll was so pretty. And this, uh, this person had like a bunch of beautiful custom things and like customs in progress for sale. And this was the one I ended up picking up. She's so cute. She's just so cute. So I'm really excited to see if I can find an outfit that I like for her. Oh, I just noticed she didn't have eyebrows. That's why she looks so striking. Okay, I love that. And I think I paid $10 for her. Isn't she precious? I kept going back, I'm telling you, this table. Like, I couldn't tell you exactly how much I spent because I went back three times and bought things three separate times. So, you know. Um, but yeah, she's just so pretty so so pretty again can't wait to, cannot wait to find her an outfit i don't do dyed hair customs because i'm just scared of it leaching everywhere but i'll make an exception if i can like just buy one pre-done for a really good price um because if you have a dyed hair custom and you ever have to like take your dolls off display just make sure you put them in like a bag separate so that they don't like accidentally leach the dye onto other things i don't i'm just nervous about it um anyway Next, we have some Bratz ponies. I've been wanting these. Uh, there will very likely be a video about these at some point. 
Um, I paid $5 for this one. There's another one that I think I forgot to grab. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got two Bratz ponies. This, so this one actually ended up getting lost. Um, and then the someone associated with the seller, I, maybe it was their dad. I, I'm not, I didn't ask, but, um, I bought this pony and they were like, Hey, I have another one. And I was like, I know I picked it out, but I dropped it and I can't find it. And then later they found it for me and specifically were like, Hey, I found the pony. So now I have two Bratz ponies. They were $5 each. And this one was my favorite. I liked the blue in the hair and they definitely need some work with the hair, but I've been really wanting, Oh, does this one have green hair? <gasps> Um, they definitely need a lot of work, but they're just really stinking cute and they're so silly. Rats did a lot of silly stuff like this and I love them a lot. So darling. And then, um, also there was a lot of, there was a big emphasis at a lot of tables. Like I dolled it for you was there by the way, if you've heard of that person, I'll link them in the description. They do like really, really cool miniatures and stuff. Uh, anyway, I, I was, I succumbed, I was, I fell victim to some of the miniatures. So this was from that same table I got the Bratz ponies and the, um, the stall at, but I've never seen this before. I think it, it, yeah, it is Barbie, but look, it's a popcorn thing that actually, like a movie theater popcorn thing that actually popcorn pops. How cute is that? It even gets caught in the little thingy. It's so cute. It's so fun. It's so simple, but this is just so precious and satisfying to play with. Adorable. I paid $3 for that. And then, um, I don't know who these go to, but I bought a couple of Bratz heads. So this is, um, I suspect it's one of the fashion style or what was that line called? Fashion show? Like the swimwear and formal. This is probably one of those, but I don't know. It's just a Yasmin from that era and she's very cute, but I don't know who she is. And then we have, these are from, uh, I don't remember what haul it was, but my friend, uh, gave me a bunch of the wink stalls like from ollie's that they had bought and i um they didn't have their wings and i was like that's fine like i don't really mind but they found the wings and they delivered them to me so thank you so much now i have their wings <laughs> um they, they're the like sirenix season eight style face dolls next this is a heavy bag i think this is a bunch of like furniture and stuff oh no this is just a combination of a lot of things that i bought okay so we're just gonna go through it these are all from random different tables in the actual doll hunt footage you'll you'll see where they came from but anyway this is a Halloween Barbie. I don't remember which one. And does her bag like open? How do I get in here? Oh. Um, and I thought she was so cute and she was a really good price. She was ah, $8, but everything at this table is 50% off if I recall correctly. So she was like $4. And they had quite a few um, out of box Barbies. Again, if you watch that part of the video, you'll see when I picked up this one probably. Um, but look, she has her little books and I, she's cute. I remember her specifically from when I was younger. So, um, she was just a cool one and I thought she was precious. She's cat themed. So I picked her up and oh my gosh, she even has a little tail. <laughs> cute, 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 cute. This is just a very cute Barbie. She definitely has some rubber band rot in her hair. So all of these dolls need a wash. Um, they'll only get videos or like YouTube shorts for, um, washes, by the way, if it's like a really severe one, that would be satisfying to watch. Okay. And then I also got this clothing set from the same table and this was god i don't remember what the bags were but they were super cheap i think i paid like less than ten dollars for both of these things that i got and i picked up some shoesies packs but i ended up gifting them to my friend uh but like sorry you never got to see them maybe they were in the video um i bought this bag because the top i think this is the top model barbie i might be wrong about the exact barbie but i know this shirt uh because when i was at my friend's house earlier this year in new york i played with this exact shirt so i was like oh I know that shirt and I love that shirt. So now I have it. It's a little camisole. It's really cute. And then we have some little capris are like on your calf, right? So what are these? Just like long shorts, knee length. I don't know. Um, hideous satin pants. <laughs> and then beautiful satin pants. I hate satin, but these are gorgeous. Really cute. So yeah, just, I wanted this top, <laughs> um, but the other pieces will be useful as well. So yay. All right. And then this from the same table as the Bratz ponies. I got a lot of Bratz accessories. I just bought any bag that said Bratz accessories because one, I knew they were Bratz accessories like they are. And two, um, they were all really well priced. So this was $10 for everything in this bag. So we've got a bunch of these bars and I don't actually know what place that's all of these go to. So that's gonna be fun to figure out. So I got all these bar stools. I have a lot of Bratz playset pieces that I'm missing like the little stuff for them. This is like a little table or something. This is so cute. 
And the reason I did this, by the way, is because just all Bratz furniture is so precious and darling and perfect and amazing. So I was like, I don't care what it is. I want to have it. Um, this is something. I don't know. <laughs> um, this is some ice, I think, but I don't know what it goes to. These probably go to a larger playset, so a lot of this stuff might not make sense out of the context of the playset. Uh, this is the microphone that goes to this mic stand, and all of this might not be Bratz. I'm pretty, um, with Bratz accessories especially, I have no idea. Like, all the playsets, there's so many playsets. There's some of them that I know, but most of them I don't know, because if I don't have them already, I don't look too closely, because one, I want to be surprised when I get them, and two, I don't want to torture myself. <laughs> um, anyway, this is a little cash register but like a really fancy new one look at the little cash drawer and you've got your little touch screen you've got your card reader when i worked at long john silvers this is what it looked like like exactly <laughs> um right then we've got this little vidya darling look at her um and i needed this one because i have this exact one but she didn't have her pants so i bought i bought her so i could have her pants <laughs> and then i bought this ari hauntington this is like that piano one i think set and these are from an ebay store called Tremalicious. and if i can find it i will link it in the description because they had a bunch of really good stuff for really good prices so i think the clothing items were like five ish each but they did like bundle discounts or i think they said they would um these are alina shoes from fairytopia and when i was younger i haven't told this story in a while so i don't feel like i'm wasting too much time telling it but when i was younger um, i wasn't super into dolls but i had quite a few um you get them as presents all the time you're a little girl um and i had all of my accessories really nicely like because my mom was very much a stickler for like keep things where they go so i had like a fairytopia bin and all my fairytopia shoes and little accessories and things in the bin when i was like 10 and we were moving we did a garage sale and <laughs> I was encouraged, of course, like, you can go through your stuff and, like, get rid of some stuff. I didn't want to get rid of my dolls, thank god I didn't. And I played with some accessories with my little pet shops, but things like the shoes, for some reason I didn't associate that with, like, maybe put it back on the doll. But it didn't align with my little pet shops, like, I didn't play with them together. So, I got rid of all the shoes. So, whoever bought a- I'm kidding. Sometimes I say this and it's so obvious that whoever bought it is not going to be in the comments. And then I'll have, like, four people in the comments be like, it was me. No, it wasn't. Like, um... But it was this, like, garage sale in Houston. I don't know. Um, it was a long time ago, but... It was literally just a box of all of the, like... All the valuable, hard-to-find pieces of my dolls. Just all together, so... Yay. But I kept the dolls, and that's... That's the best part for me, is that I still have my childhood dolls. Like, the majority of them, which is really cool. Uh, some of them are gone, though. <laughs> okay. And then we have this very cute little Chapette doll. Or Shoppies. Shop it. I think I'm combining pop it and shoppies. So I specifically tried to only pick out the shop shoppies that had like their headpieces and stuff. Oops. Um, so this is one. I don't know shoppies super well, but she's like a very cute musician themed one. She's got her little treble clef, her little piano skirt, piano headband, super darling. I'm gonna put her back in the bag though so she doesn't lose her pieces. And yeah, hair really needs some work. But finding shoppies with their shoes and those little headpieces they always had is very unusual. So I grabbed that. Oh my god, this was a find. This, I believe, is a Barbie Glam and Groom pet. And if you know, I've been looking for Barbie pets. But I've been collecting the cats, but I'm learning of the dogs too. I'm just specifically focusing on the cats. Because I love cats. I do like dogs. Like, I don't dislike dogs or anything. But anyway, the dogs make a lot more sense than the cats generally. Because, um, I don't know. Dogs just fit having, like, super long hair like this better. And cats generally, if they have long hair, it's very, like... It's, like, this far away from the face, you know? It's not going to be, like like a mane of hair so it's really funny when they do it on the cats but it worked for the dogs and these lines were clearly designed with the dogs in mind and i was really happy to find this one the tail wags and it makes the head move i think oh that's so cute anyway darling precious really exciting find yeah i'm not saying the prices for the stuff in this bag because i paid for it all together i think so i don't know what the prices were but it was a really really low cost for everything that i got oh my god i got distracted from the brats hold on we have more brats accessories i got these i think they go to skull shores laguna at least these do i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure i don't have skull shores laguna's earrings so i grabbed them and is that arm piece her too i don't think it is what is that okay this is more brats stuff from that same bag as the little bar stools. i don't know how i got distracted that bad um, but I think these go to that sushi playset, which 
look at all the little sushi bits. And I don't have this playset, but I do have a Likatron sushi playset. Yeah, see, you got like the wasabi and the ginger and all the little plates and things. What is this? I don't know. Probably goes to the playset somehow. But anyway, someday, if I find these playsets like gutted with none of the accessories and even missing some of the parts that could have come off, I've got things like these little bars that probably go to them. And there's just so much stuff in here. There's even little individual chopsticks. So I think this was the... Is it the flash... Is the Tokyo Go-Go playset was this one? I think so. It would, make, it would make a lot of sense. Okay, then we have My Little Ponies. So I picked up this bonbon, and it says this one was $5. I don't have this one, so... Cool. It's really hard for me to find ponies that I don't already have, so it's always really exciting when I find them. And then, this is Key Lime Pie. I think that's her name. She's a G3. It is... With G4, if there's a good amount of them, there's probably one that I don't have because I kind of stopped collecting at one point. But with G3, I have like almost all of them like I have a really really solid collection except for like store exclusives international exclusives and stuff um but key lime pie is one that I'm 99% sure that I don't already have so I grabbed her and um if one of these ends up being a double I have friends who also collect ponies so they they will have a home but this one's just not familiar for me my thing with g3s that's frustrating is I had a certain set as a kid I know them like the back of my hand I know exactly which ones I had I know exactly which ones in my collection are those ones but then like ones that I found thrifting like when I find one pony thrifting and then stick her on the shelf after fixing her up doesn't stick in my mind as much as say my precious darling childhood ponies so I'm gonna start carrying like or I'm gonna start having like an archive of photos of each of my shelves so I can at a glance be like okay I don't have this one anyway then we have this one. So these were the like twice as fancy. That's not what they were called. I don't remember what they were called, but they were much later in G3. And those are the ones that I'm missing generally. So right before G3.5, I wasn't getting these anymore because I really liked Lowest Pet Shop. So that's what I had moved on to as a kid. Um, so all these ones with the moving heads, I'm missing like a ton of them. Um, and I only have one from this set. And now I have this one. Yay. And I don't know their names because I don't have them. So now I do. So I'll figure it out. And then we have this one, who is another later one from around that time. It says she was $3. I don't know what they actually ended up bringing up to. It was either $3 or less, most likely. But look at this one. So again, this is one of the moving head ones later stage. Don't have this one. And she's got like a little birthday cake theme. She's very cute. She almost looks like a 3.5. Like she really does. But they all had one body sculpt. Which is so lame. So lame. All right. And then we have... Rose Luck, who I don't have, and these are the Cutie Mark Magic ones, by the way, same with this one, so that's why they have the Cutie Marks all over their bodies. I like it, um, but I wish that they had released all of these characters as just regular brushables, but isn't she cute? I found two G4 ponies that I didn't already have. What? Uh, I thought I picked up another one that my friend was missing too, but maybe they didn't have that one. We'll see once we go through all the bags. Um, and then this is Percy Pink. Yeah, another G4, and she still has her little strip her hair strip thing these are very satisfying to rip by the way and some things it's a nightmare like on the style bay dolls that i recently unboxed nightmare to get the strip out but these satisfying satisfying g3 ponies oh my god it's so satisfying to get that strip out um but when are you going to be unboxing a g3 pony um and then i also got this sweetheart sister and this is one of the ones with the glitter marks and this one's such a shame because look how perfect and this is very unusual the glitter is like it's all pristine untouched not like rubbed at all the body's in pristine condition i only see a couple of stains that'll probably come off like oh this is like a g3 tease here i know that's just a coincidence obviously um but this is a g1 my little pony by the way they're just quite different looking because they did these like weird skinny ones right and then g2 happened that look like this um but this one unfortunately has a haircut but like look how perfect of condition she's in so yeah that's funny um someday if i care enough to do it I would reroute her but I don't mind some of my ponies having shorter hair like I don't I think it's fun um but it's just kind of funny that she's literally like brand new condition but with a haircut it's like <laughs> uh anyway all right this next doll I freaked out I couldn't believe it and I think I paid like five bucks for her this is that original Neela doll so Neela is or this is a hair doorbells doll and Neela was this like space themed character and one of the she was like a super rare or something. She wasn't one of the like limited edition ones, but she was the tier below that, like one of the rarer ones. They had Neela um, in an alien form, and I forgot what they actually called her in this one, but like, 
I've been wanting this doll so bad for years, ever since Hair Adorables. And there was a trick where you could look in the box and see which one you got because Neela had a special background. And I did that to hundreds of Hair Adorables boxes and never found her. And you didn't have to damage the doll at all, by the way. It was just like you could literally just poke and look and you'd see it. It was really easy. But I never found her or any other rare ones. Someone was beating me to it. But it's really easy. Now I have her. Thank goodness. Oh, I'm so happy. This was the one I wanted so bad. And yeah. So happy. Neela always has my favorite dolls too because there's like a there's one that's like impossible to find. I've never even seen her for sale, but she had like this butterfly dress and she's so stunning. I think it's Garden Party Neela. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, this was amazing. I'm so so happy. I'm sure she's missing something because they came with a lot of little accessories and things, but she has her dress, she has her shoes. Even nude, I would have bought her on the spot because like I love this one. So yeah, this was really exciting find. So funny of all the rare cool things that I've already shown, I'm like <laughs> at the hair normal doll that came out in 2016 but or 2017 but i'm like i love you it came out in 2017 or 2018 i think 2018 anyway next we have another shoppies doll this one oh look she has <laughs> okay i think someone's phone number is listed there so like whatever person owned this one but that's really cute uh so this is the world vacation line it's really cute but look at her i don't know her name but she's absolutely darling. I really love the little pinata on her hairpiece. Isn't she cute? Um, so yeah, another really great shop. You seem to have all her stuff. She even has this little card, even though it seems to have some kid's phone number on it, which is adorable. Well, I don't know if that is... It has five digits, and if it was... Or no, sorry, it has six digits, but if, if it had seven, it would be the area code plus that is their phone number, but six doesn't make any sense. Maybe the kid was just goofing off and writing something. I don't know, but I'm still not going to show it. So, anyway. Moving on. I got this music festival... Monster High, um, like, VIP badge thing, because, or VIM, very important monster, because I, that's the piece that's always missing. <laughs> um, I also got this Neptuna, because she goes to that Teen Wishes Laguna, she's purple, um, and I have 13 Wishes Laguna out of box, but I don't have Neptuna, so... Yay! Well, I have the original Neptuna, but not that one. So, very happy. I also got this, I think it was also called Swap and Styles, but I could be wrong, but one of the 2010s-ish fashionistas that has the weird head swapped gimmick, but this one's also really well articulated, so I grabbed her. And she has, like, I don't know if she has a haircut or some kind of gimmick with her hair, because, like, what is this? I don't know. She's, she's an unusual one, but... Pretty sure this is my first just regular Barbie that has this gimmick. It could be wrong. I probably have grabbed one at the thrift store before. But none of them have been inaugurated in my collection yet fully because I don't have their outfits. Or outfits that I think look really good on them. But I really love this specific face on Barbie. She's so cute. She's so cute. All right. We're still trucking along. Next we have this. Um, I think this is an MGA next top model or top model doll. Um, and I just think these are so cute. They have the most darling faces, and I actually have this exact one. Maybe not this exact one, because I think there were two releases of this character. I don't remember her name. I like one, like, I think it's this type of doll, and then I'm like, actually, I have one, and I know everything about it. I'm pretty sure there's two releases of each character, but I could be wrong. And mine is a haircut, and, like, uh, staining in the hair, I think. So I grabbed this one. These dolls are so funny, though, because, like, you got a chest joint, but you don't have an elbow joint. A little weird. Um, fashion. But I think mine has a different arm posture or something. I don't remember. Um, and they also have a way where they can wear, like, shoes that have a strap here, which is kind of cool. Without it just sitting on top of the toe, it would actually go in, like, that sh that type of piece would. But anyway, a cute doll. Uh, very unusual. These are really hard to find, generally. They're not, like, expensive or super rare or anything. Well, they I think they are rare, but nobody really cares about them. <laughs> I don't know. Then... We have this really cute Frozen Fever Anna. I really like the little minis, so I grabbed them. And she has everything except her little shoes, but I did buy a bunch of extra shoes. Unfortunately, uh, there's one that is in, like, at work at my place of employment because I found it in my purse, so a lot of these got separated, I think. But these are Anna's shoes, but you can also, well, they might not be Anna's shoes, but I bought them for a Disney Store video because I think those are her shoes. They just have these generic stupid slipper shoes, which is actually nice if you're trying to piece them together secondhand. And then these, I believe, go to Perry. No, they wouldn't go to Periwinkle. I don't know who these go to. Maybe an Elsa. And then there's one sparkly shoe that goes to a Disney Fairies. But this is like a Jax one, I think. Um, so yeah, always grabbing those because 
when am I gonna find them? Like, it's very unusual, so, yeah. Okay, next, I'm not gonna show another bag of dolls and things because I should probably show one of the American Girls, if not all of them. We'll do all of them. So this doll, I freaked out. I don't have like a photographic memory of American Girl dolls like I used to because I just don't look at them as much. I love American Girl dolls, but um, I don't collect them as actively as I used to. I have the majority of the ones I'm looking for. I'm not finding them thrifting as much anymore. I don't know, but, and I don't live anywhere near a store. <sighs> anyway, I was pretty sure this was who I thought it was, but even if she wasn't, I thought she was beautiful and that I could fix her up. And that doll ended up being this one. And the reason I wasn't sure of who this was is because I the eye color I knew, but maybe there was a truly me with this eye color, but her hair is super cut, so that doesn't help. And I wasn't sure if the character I'm thinking of had the feathered eyebrows or the lined eyebrows, but yes, this is Cecilia. If you've been watching anything American Girl from me, I've probably mentioned a hundred times how bad I want Cecile. Cecile and, um, because I'm trying to complete my historical line and I'm trying to complete my Girl of the Year line. And there's two dolls in those two sections that are impossible to get. And it's Cecile and Sonali because they had very limited release windows. And I want them both so bad. And I finally found Cecile. So... Uh, Atlanta's a really good place to search for American Girls because there there was an American Girl place there for a long time, so makes sense. But, and guess what? She was $20. 20 United States dollars for this doll. Now, she is in horrible condition. It's kind of funny, though, because her body, her, like, arms and legs, and her face are actually in, like, perfect condition. It's weird. Like, I didn't see any... There's some scratches on one cheek for some reason. But look, like, she doesn't have, like, rubs. She's not missing any kind of paint or anything. Like, she's in really good shape. She has a couple of little marks, but, like, not marks, but, like, I don't know how to explain it, but there's, like, the, the surface of the vinyl. If you scratch it with your nail, it'll have a shine spot and it will never go away. It has a couple of those, but no actual, like, marks. But she's, like, pristine. And it's my darling Cecile with her beautiful eye color. So I'm gonna have to find her a new wig. Usually with American Girl dolls, there's so many people customizing them that the wigs are so easy to get for good prices. Like, you can get any wig from any character any day, even if it's a rare character, for, like, 20 bucks. Not this one. I should have known, but it's, I've heard Claudie's wig is pretty similar, but I'm not sure. So if anybody has um, Cecile and Claudie, please message me on Instagram or email me or something and let me know how similar the wigs are, specifically the color. That's what I'm mainly interested in because I know the texture is pretty similar, but is the color similar? But yeah, this girl has had her hair hacked off, unfortunately. Um, but isn't she darling? I was so happy to have her. I'm so, so grateful. $20. And most, or like most of the tables that had a lot of secondhand stuff that seemed to like thrift for dolls a lot had an American Girl doll at least one. So I ended up with three. I saw like seven American Girl dolls. So there weren't a whole lot, but I bought three of them. So, uh, and there was one, it haunts me. And if you didn't see her go back to the first clips of when I first walked in and was kind of showing the area, I wanted to get straight into the back room because there was this little hallway area that had dolls and then the back room that had more stuff. And I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything if there was something that people would have grabbed like quick, you know? So I wanted to make sure to get into the back room first. But in doing that, I missed something. There was a Nikki American Girl doll. I'm missing Nikki. She's one of the last ones that I need. She was in box with a bunch of stuff for $40. But I didn't even ask for the price because I was thinking like, oh, that doll's in box. She's gonna be expensive. Like, I'm not even worried about it. But she was $40. But um, just by coincidence, I ended up talk like meeting the person who bought her and um, that was cool. So anyway, I, I got to sale for $20. So I'm happy, like I am not complaining at all. But that was just funny that like my folly, my, my desire to be the first one in the room cost me a Nikki doll. But again, I got her for $20. and. There was another table that, um, the one I got the Bratz Ponies at, where I found this doll in basically brand new condition, even wearing her meat outfit for $40. Uh, and there was another one in there, but she was kind of similar to a lot of other dolls that I have in my collection. And because usually if it's an American Girl doll, $40 or under, I will buy them like no question, even in this sort of condition. Um, if they have any clothing, I'll go with, like 60. Um, and that's just my rule of thrifting, but this was a special situation because there were so many. And that doll, again, was pretty similar to a lot of other ones that I had. But this one is not. Funny enough, she's got those Cecile eyes also. I'm pretty sure they're the, the same. Yeah, they got the same eye color. Just, I'm gonna, like, Frankenstein and Cecile together. <laughs> um, but isn't she darling? And I cannot wait because this hair is my favorite to fix up. I worked at the American Girl pop-up store in Austin, Texas in 2017, at the end of 2017. And 
this was my favorite type of hair to restore when kids would bring it in uh because gabriella's year was that year and it's actually really really easy to fix and you wouldn't um people don't think that it is and that's why you get dolls like cecile that have their hair cut like this but it's so simple to fix so i'm gonna do a restoration video for her and i'm very excited about it that's not why i bought her this is a truly me that i specifically have been really wanting do i remember her number no um but i really like her hazel eyes i really love that she has this hair because again i love this hair um but their hair color is quite different by the way that would have been convenient if the hair was like this exact same like wig style then i could just but no um but isn't she cute so god she was like a number 40 something or 60 something i don't remember um but isn't she cute she's so cute I really like this one uh, enough of this outfit though we're done no more you hear me <laughs> anyway okay the last American Girl doll that I got we're almost done we've got we have a bag we've got a doll in box and we've got the prize that I won at the at the raffle auction or it was like it wasn't a raffle where you pay to get into the raffle it was one where like when you get into the show they give you a little ticket and there's like a fun little giveaway anyway the last American Girl doll that I got is truly me number 80. It's funny because I don't think she was ever sold with this meat outfit, right? This meat outfit is a lot older than her. Um, but anyway, this is one of my most wanted American Girl dolls. And I've just been enchanted by her. Like ever since the moment that I think these ones leaked early, right? Like this whole line of like the, these new numbers that came around. By the way, the reason they're numbers, like this is number 80, it's because they're like a create, not create your own, but like pick the doll that looks like you or pick the doll that you would want basically but they're not like named characters so you you name the characters so the numbers are just like reference numbers basically and I wanted this one so bad I was just so enchanted by her the moment that I saw her um because she's just she's just really 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 beautiful there's some truly means that are like it's another American Girl doll but there's other ones that are like that's one of the most beautiful dolls I've ever seen in my life and this is one of them I had to have her uh, and it, again it's really funny that they just dressed her in this random meet outfit because this is this is a truly me meet outfit but it's older like, I think it was this one, then this one, and then when she came out, came out, it was, I think it was a little bit after I worked at the store, because she wasn't there, but I think it was, like, 2018 or 2019, but I think it was the blue outfit that has, like, the blue coat and the white sneakers with the glitter on them or something like that. Love that outfit. I don't think I actually, or I have, like, pieces of it, but I don't have it, so I would have preferred that one, but it's okay. I'm not complaining. I'm just so, so happy. And look how loved she was. She got a little jostled because she was sitting in the passenger seat when I was driving home that night. But like, look, they did her hair all cute. Anyway, I'm so happy to have her. Beautiful, beautiful doll. One that I specifically really wanted to have. And I got her for an amazing price. Well, it's, it's a good price objectively. Like if I paid that on eBay, it'd be nice. But like when I'm thrifting, not an amazing price. But you know, these dolls retail for 120 right now, maybe higher, I don't remember. So it was a triumph for me. Anyways, and again, that doll sold out, like not available. They completely rebooted the Truly Me line. Most of their outfits are horrendous now. <laughs> anyway, another bag. Uh, and this includes more brat doll furniture. So this was $20, so this was a little more. And I think these go to that spa place that they came with Dana, but I don't know. Again, I'm not familiar bar stool and they could go to several playsets too see these are like little salonish chairs i think i love the fabric on them like these are actual little fabric covers and the fact that they're still here is very cool then we have these little salon chair like are they hair dryers i never knew what these did um we have a desk of some sort very sparkly looks like the way they paint boats i think i actually have this little spotlights um we've got a bunch a very cute green themed little well there's drinks but there's also salon related things so i think these probably do go to that place set as well there's also little scissors in there are you kidding um whatever that is another little chair where does the the dryer go i would think it attaches to the oh i bet it's this i bet it's like that somehow but i don't know Well, it seems too high, right? Who knows? This is probably a little counter. But yeah, these are like the playset just totally gutted, which is really good because you never find pieces like this for at all good prices. And like if I ever find the playset thrifting, it's not going to have most of the stuff. A little foot bath, little cash register, another little desk. See, I feel like these go like they insert into the playset somehow. It's a little tiny brush. Maybe like a shower head or something. 
And then there's some other little tiny things at the bottom. But yeah, always good to find brat doll pieces again because they rock. Oh, that says Yasmin on it. Really? I don't recognize this piece. Anyway, there's more. <laughs> uh, this bag also has Bratz furniture in there, so let's... So when I bought um, this bag of furniture, I ended up putting some dolls that I bought at the same time in there. So anyway, it was $15 for the furniture, but the dolls were, I think the dolls were $5 each. Uh, I got this one. This might be her. She looks different though. Her makeup is slightly different color. Maybe she's, she could be a variant or she could be like sun faded. I don't know. Um, but even if that is her, which it might be, Mine has a severe lip scrub, so that's fine. And she's wearing a little purple skirt that I doubt is Brat, but it could be, I don't know. And then the other Brat doll that I picked out was this one. I don't have a lot with this face, but I don't know who she is. 2008 plus one, I think. Oh, look at this chair. What is this? Look, it's like a little office chair. This is like a Burdeen chair here. What is this? Except that it's purple, obviously. Ferdinand wouldn't do that. Um, and then we've got... Oh, look at that! The little lamp. Oh my god, these are cute! Look at the little crown mirror. Okay. Super darling. And then I also picked out this cat. This was a dollar. This was something else. Um, From Pa Parazzi. And his name is Toby and he was born May 24th, 2006. I don't know what this is. I just... I, it's a cat. And I liked it. I thought he was very cute. And it's a tuxedo kitty. And then more brats thing or maybe not brats these are i don't know they feel like weirdly heavy but a bunch of little accessories including croissants and then maybe these were little cupboards that turned around to be like little mirrors i don't know and then at the bottom of the bag are a bunch of things that i picked out from the seller had like little doll jewelry pieces oh look these are the doors to those little cabinet things. So yeah, they are little cupboards. Cute. Cute. And I have both doors. Um, the seller also had this little box of charms and things. So these are little crowns that are metal. Uh, and I don't know who they go to, but who doesn't need more doll tiaras? If you don't, I envy you because I do. Um, and then I also got these earrings, which I think are mycene. I could be wrong. It's hard to tell sometimes, like, because... This design has probably been used in many doll lines. And then this was funny because these seem to be the same sculpt, like the same earring, but one is silver and one is gold. But I picked them up because maybe I'll find a doll that only has one of those someday. And then wouldn't I have been sorry if I'd left them behind? And then um, I also got this Fairy Queen Teresa doll. Basic, I So my friends, um, I bought this one for my friends as well. Um, I'm pretty sure I know which one of them this doll was from. But anyway, um, this doll... They often will find, like, dolls in box and unbox them and keep them, like, pristine, pristine in their collection. So it is always such a treat to buy dolls from them because they're always, like, in such good condition and they restore them so nicely, too. Um, but this is Fairy Queen Teresa! Uh, so yay! Now I finally have another doll to display for uh, Swan Lake. And, yeah, you can see her little instructions or a mode de employ. <laughs> That's a cute way to say instructions. Um, and you see, like, she has a necklace, which is actually in here. And then, hold on, because there's a little... Yeah, there's, like, a wand and a necklace. There's a Barbie catalog. Wait, this is in Spanish! <gasps> cool! <gasps> ah! Mermaid Fantasy Barbies! Oh my gosh, this is really cute. Oh, I want that. Secret spells. And this is a calendar, I think, so that's cute. It's fun. See, those are Swan Lake girlies. Oh, this being in Spanish is really cool cool i love that i kind of i know some spanish i could read most of that um and there she is she's absolutely beautiful and i've had swan like just barbie or odette oh <laughs> duh um i've had odette just on display alone for a while with the nutcracker dolls because she's also ballet so it'll be really nice to have another one with her so yay and the slippers are still on which is those slippers don't stay on like by no there is no circumstance that those slippers stay on so thank goodness they're there uh okay we have a couple more things in here so these i also bought for my friends and i am so grateful they let me separate some stuff because within this little bag 
Sweet Dreams Yasmin, which is for some reason my most wanted Bratz doll. I love her face. I'm not ever going to be able to get her probably unless I just happen to find her thrifting, but I love her little pillow. So now I have a Sweet Dreams pillow. I got, I don't remember what this goes to. I think one of the Sweet Dreams dolls, but I don't remember, but I grabbed it because I thought it was cute. And then these are Princess Chloe pieces and I grabbed these. Where's my Princess Chloe? Is she, is she just on display with no feet? Like I think she is. I think I did that, but I don't see her. Um, but uh, hold on, hold on. She was indeed on display with no shoes, um, no feet at all. So here's my Princess Chloe. Uh, this doll has been a triumph to get this complete. So if you don't know my story with Princess Chloe, I was buying like random Bratz clothing lots a lot in early 2021. I wish that I had gone a little harder on that because right after that the Bratz market exploded and you can't get Bratz anymore. Um, so most of my Bratz collection is from then and I haven't really been expanding, but anyway. I got her skirt in a random lot and I was like, oh my god, I want Princess Chloe though. I also got one of her shoes in a random shoe lot at a thrift store months later and I was like, ah, Princess Chloe, like we're coming together. And then I got the doll and everything else earlier this year from my friend Queen Beans Collectibles who also has a YouTube channel that is awesome that is specifically about thrifting for dolls. So I'll link her in the description. And she had sent me this random hat box, Barbie box thing full of brat stuff because she found it thrifting and was like, hey, I know you love brat stuff. And I was like, Princess Chloe was in there with all of enough pieces to dress her, but I still only had one shoe and Princess dolls have very specific shoes. So I didn't want to just put random shoes on her because I felt it would look weird. Um, but I love this doll. I've kind of been one of those haters that's been like, I think Princess is underrated or sorry. <laughs> I think Princess is overrated. Like they're not that cute. But then when I had her, my, my whole world view shifted and I get it now. Anyway, now I finally have both shoes. So I officially have a complete outfit for her. And as a bonus, I didn't even know she had a belt. And now I have a belt. <laughs> now I have a belt for her. So I don't think it would get, like work with this outfit at all. But I'm still going to put it on her for now. Um, I don't have the other pieces. I think I might have one top. Like one of the extra tops. But I need to double check. I also think she's supposed to have a crown probably. It's called princess. I don't know. Um, and she has a haircut. But she's perfect to me. Also I like this hair length a lot. But anyway. She has shoes now. So she's going to look less goofy on display. I'm so happy. And... I think I paid five bucks for the pieces that I need because my friends are so sweet and wonderful. Oh, the earring fell out. Ah! <laughs> That's scary. Here we go. I love her. I'm so happy. Okay, so there's my Princess Chloe. Finally, she'll be able to stand on display. I've just been having her like hovering <laughs> on the stand so she'd be a similar height to the other girls. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna set her there for now. She goes way up top because that's where my like dance themed, formally themed ones are. Okay, the last, well, two things. So first, here's my prize from the raffle. This is the Barbie Country Living Home from 1973 or four, something like that. And this is so funny because I discovered this when I was hunting, trying to discover the all the Barbie cats. I swear it's coming soon. I'm going to talk about it. But anyway, there's a Barbie country kitchen, country living kitchen or something um, from around the same time that came with a Barbie cat or like a cat pillow. And that's technically one of the first cats in a specifically Barbie thing that wasn't Skipper or Francie or anybody else. But this, um, I, <laughs> for some reason, I think, I think the room add-ons or whatever they were called. I forgot what the rooms are called. They're called roomfuls, right? Um, I think they go to this playset somehow, but I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, this is a really, really precious playset. And it's not the one that came with the cat, but I still am, like, really happy about it. I thought it was what came with the cat. I think I might have said that in the doll hunt, but it's not. Um, but anyway, I love these playsets. I think they're really, like, they're actually really nice. Like, this playset is older than my mother, right? And it's still, and it's made out of this, like, cardboard with vinyl over it. It's still in great condition. It's great. I like the little saloon doors. Aren't these precious? Um, so I'm very excited about this. I don't have a whole lot of vintage Barbie furniture. I do have some, but it's mostly 80s. Definitely, I don't think I have any 70s furniture. Um, but I hope someday, maybe with the roomfuls, if I can get them. Some of them are pretty expensive, but overall they're pretty affordable considering how old and nice they are. Um, hopefully someday I can complete, not complete this, like I don't expect to ever have all the stuff, but I can actually have furniture that matches the vibe in here and it will be cute um this part is very fragile it's funny you'd think the roof would be the most 
hardy part, but this part is actually very fragile. So just because the plastic has um, degraded over time, so you have to be pretty careful. But I won this for free. Uh, <laughs> so when, when I get handed a raffle ticket at anything, and again, it was a free thing that was just if you came into the show, you could do it. Um, <laughs> I just never even take it seriously because I'm not going to win, but I heard, I had read my ticket and then just stuck it in my bag, just kind of threw it in there and moved on. And then when she was reading the numbers, I was like, wait, I think that's my number. And this was the second one that they had called. So I don't know what the first prize would have been. Um, but the second one that they had called, I was like, hold on. And then I'm digging through my bag frantically because I'm pretty sure it's me. And she's like, last call. And I'm like, oh God, it was me. I found it. And I got this. And everything else in there were like relatively recent fashionistas and stuff. So they weren't really appealing to me. I think I showed it in the video what was in there, but everything in there wasn't really clicking with me. And then I saw this and I was like, is everything in this area? And she's like, yeah. And I was like this. And she's like, yeah. And I was like, ah, so I got this. I wonder what the original, like what the first person picked out. It could have been one of the fashionistas because I don't know who it was, but cool. I'm so grateful. I can't believe I got this for basically five bucks because that's what I paid to get into the show. And I'm super, super happy. Getting this shipped to me would have been a giant pain. So I would have just happened, had to find it thrifting, but I never find these thrifting. I suspect people just throw them away because they're kind of made out of cardboard, but I'm so happy. There are some scratches, unfortunately, but it's in pretty good condition. So I am ecstatic. Okay. There's one more thing that I bought at the doll show. Are you ready to see what it is? So I have one Barbie Silkstone doll. Well, you already know what it is because I showed it in the video, but I, so. this is Barbie, I think Red Moon is her name. Um, or this just says fashion model collection. I think this doll's name is Red Moon. But anyway, this is a Silkstone doll. So if you don't know, Barbie has this line called Silkstone that are these like they're like the higher end collector dolls. So they're like really heavy. They're made out of a different material. They're like cold to the touch. I have no idea what the material actually is. It's just really heavy. Um, and they have like a very specific pose. They have, they usually look like this. They have like the early Barbie face and I think they're beautiful and there's some like really amazing designs, but I just don't even consider them because unless it's a doll line that I love, um, like I really, really love my limited edition Disney 17 inch ones. So I will usually pay like over a hundred dollars retail for those. But for like Barbies, I don't know if there's that many that I would do that for, but I saw this one and I kept coming back to her. I just thought she was so pretty and she was listed at like $75, which is a weirdly low price. And the seller said it was because her rubber band had popped, which it indeed has like her hair, her hair is not up anymore, but it's holding itself up by the magic of just the gravity that has held it there all this time. It's like, it's plastic. So it's kind of formed into that shape now. Um, but this doll's worth over a hundred dollars. Like she sells for that regularly. So I was just sitting there, like I kept looking at her. I kept passing her by and I was like, I want her so bad. And then my friend was like, my friend collects Silkstone specifically and was like, you should get her, you should get her. And I walked over there and I was thinking about it. And then they were like, would you take, they were like haggling. They were like, would you take 65? And the seller was like, yeah. So I got a Silkstone for $65 and her hair is ridiculously high quality and soft. I mean, I think it's just Saran, but like super soft. It's like when Saran is treated so nice, it feels like an Eklon. That's what this is. Um, and I just thought she was darling. And her friend from the same line was actually there as well. Um, but unfortunately that doll was, uh, like missing her clothes and I don't really have extra outfits, but, um, yeah, she's cool. I just thought her outfit was so nice. Are these dolls elastic strong? I don't know. The, the legs feel weird to move around. I don't know a whole lot about Silkstones. She was a really good price and she is, um, I just was so enchanted by her. And sometimes I just let the dolls pick me and that's what happened here. Uh, there were some other dolls there and this, this guy had like really nice dolls and he kept saying that's groovy, which I loved. Um, but <laughs> he would be like, yeah, I think that doll's so groovy and it's this doll. Um, so not like the traditional definition of groovy, but I love it. It was just how he was saying cool, I guess. So cute. I love it. If I start doing that, I'm not sorry, but <laughs> he had these, they're called Mons Monsieur Z, I think, dolls by Jason Wu. So if I start ending up with those, it was that guy's fault for bringing them to the doll show. <laughs> um, and this doll also has like a stand and this cute little tag thing. Does it say which? It's weird that it wouldn't say this is Barbie Red Moon or whatever. I don't 100% recall what the name of this one was, but I just, she was very beautiful. I like the little Barbie tag thing. Red Moon. Yes. Shin. I, don't, I can't read that. I don't know what that says. Um, and she's Silkstone, and she's gold label, and she's precious, and I'm so glad to have her. She's a very unusual doll for my collection, but I love her a lot. So, yeah, those are all of the things I picked up at the doll show. 
I got a lot of stuff. Uh, I spent more than I expected to spend, but honestly, considering how much I got, I spent a lot less than I thought I would. Like, the way that I got... This was 40 80 so we're at 120 140 140 dollars for three american girl dolls it's pretty good and if i hadn't bought this one the this it wouldn't be so skewed the um the average wouldn't be so skewed uh, but anyway i'm so happy these are absolutely beautiful dolls and yeah there's just so many cool dolls in here i'm really excited to like get them all fixed up and put in my collection stay tuned for like restoration videos and stuff in the coming days especially this one this is the one i'm most excited about i think cecile the only restoration she needs is a new wig so i don't think i'll end up doing a video for that to be honest with you maybe a youtube short if if it warrants that um but yeah i'm just very happy there's a lot of cool stuff in here i might do an unboxing of the barbie dolls that i have in box as like youtube shorts i'm not sure um but yeah stick around let me know what you think have you ever been to a doll show like this i again i've or i don't know if i said it i said it in a take that i think i cut out of this video but <laughs> i've been to toy shows before like collector shows because um, my dad used to own a vintage toy store in houston so and there were a lot there's like a really bustling toy community there but i don't know about doll people there like i never found them but i was also like 15 so i don't know um but the toy shows were awesome i remember i got um ocarina of time the zelda game nintendo 64 in the box for 20 dollars. that was cool uh, at one of those shows i got like the the super like rare they're not rare but the ones everybody wants of little pet shops like the the race about ranch cat for example not i already had that one but i did buy her because mine has a ice smear but i got like a ton of little pet shops like that basically the entire cast of lps popular for a dollar each um my little ponies for like a dollar two each for g1s in good condition like because they were action figure shows so that kind of stuff was just there for like if kids want to dig through it which as annoying as that is as a person who is an adult collector who you know collects these and i don't want it to be seen as like that's childish it actually benefits you when you're at a show like that because it's like they're gonna be super cheap because they don't value these like i do so you know <laughs> that's always cool um but yeah, so if you find toy shows and they're not like super expensive to get in and they're nearby, try to go because you might find something amazing at one of them. I desperately wish I'd taken photos and videos when I went to those shows when I was younger because like I just, I want to know because now I'm so much more knowledgeable, you know, so I would see so many cool things. Um, I would just be sitting there like ripping my, like, ah, why didn't I buy that? Um, but anyway that's it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching and um, again i started channel memberships and you can read more about that in the places it'll either say join somewhere on my channel or it'll be a memberships tab and it will explain what that means um but yeah thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time bye